Hello and welcome to my newest video. Today I'm going to take a quick first look at Ether League. Now what is Ether League? As you can see here from the screen, Ether League is an RPG game built on the blockchain. All players can get Ethereum rewards through the game. Each player can earn Ethereum rewards on the, only through, not only through the battle power jackpot, but also through different systems such as Adventure. Okay, so is it a crypto collectible game? Maybe someone in the comments below who has actually some more information about Ether League can shed some light on that. Tribes pre-sale. Only 50 tribes are available for pre-sale when the game officially launches. Each share will receive 0.2% of the total income of Hero Summon. Okay, so this is more like an idle game. No, I don't think so. So you have a different tribes. Which tribe is this one? You have 10, 10 remaining. So there hasn't been too much activity for this game so far, I imagine. So I can purchase these different tribes. You have five different ones. There isn't really too much information about them, unfortunately. They, I mean, the graphics, the, the the kind of logos, if you want to call them that, or the how do you call them? It's called Wappen in German. I don't know what the English translation actually is. Um, it looks decent, but I don't really know what these tribes are meant to do. Other than the information I can get here, yeah, obviously, if you purchase them, then you have a decent return investment chance, but you also have a much higher risk that you actually lose money or lose Ethereum. Also, they say 50 tribes are available for pre sale. I only see five. Hmm. Anyway, Heroes pre sale. Okay, so you always have a Heroes pre sale. Well, a decent graphic style of these different characters, but nothing too unique, in my opinion. In Ether League, there are a total of 500 Genesis heroes being written into the smart contract, onto the smart contract. Each of them are unique ERC721 tokens, okay, though, so that's quite common for a game that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. Players can only acquire Genesis heroes during the pre-sale Genesis, so obviously the Genesis heroes being part of the pre-sale, if you purchase them, they have a much higher value because they're probably going to have a better, well, they have battle better battle stats I guess so there's going to be a high chance to win battles with them as opposed to using the later heroes that will be of less value and of lower quality um, so they provide scarcities they provide some kind of value curve I guess that's always interesting but yeah there has to be like a another USP in my opinion other than that it just looks like a typical crypto collectible game dividends for all okay so, all, so most of, well not most of this, more than half of the income that or most of the players' um, money they spend on these different characters and tribes is put back into different jackpots so you can have a decent return investment here as well. 40% of which goes to the BP battle power jackpot, okay. Players will be rewarded based on the battle power, okay that's some additional information. Right now we are in pre-sale stage. Mid July tribes pre sale Genesis Heroes pre sale referral program, end of July Hero Summon Battle Power Ranking. So, we are going to be able, so if even if you purchase them right now, you won't be able to, to summon them, I guess. You just hold them as like an asset that you don't really have any kind of control over. And then, end of July, that's actually right now, um, Hero Summon Battle Power Ranking Arena. So, there's going to be arena system, well, a lot of different RPGs on the blockchain, not necessarily just the Ethereum blockchain, also on EOS or NEO, they have done an arena system. It's always nice to see, but then again, when it comes down to interacting with a smart contract, is, is it going to be a full control battle system in the arena, or are you just going to watch like an automatic mode, and you only have to kind of, the option to set up a lineup, I guess. Uh, I have been talking about this before, that I, I'm not really a, a major proponent of having games run on the blockchain to 100% because a lot of times uh, if you don't have like um, games that run turn-based for example or games like strategy games, um, idle games and so on and so on. If you have any kind of game where you need full control of the characters or at least some more control it's diff difficult to actually enjoy the game because most of the time you have to spend a lot of money to actually keep going and having successful um, transactions even for turn-based games like a Final Fantasy type arena setup maybe it's going to be like that for Ether League it's going to be difficult to enjoy the game if you have to spend Ethereum and transaction costs every time you actually do another move you know what I mean so that's kind of like the main 
um, challenge most of these games are going to face because obviously it's going to be about having fun gameplay in order to have enough players to support your game's economy. Uh, and if, if there isn't any kind of healthy economy, there won't really be a point of of uh, having a decent return on investment because there won't be any value increase other than actually the opposite is going to be a value decrease because nobody will really uh, nobody will really purchase these different characters from you for a higher price you most likely will be only able to to sell them for a low price or you might even not be able to sell them at all and you will be at a loss so yeah then i know that's kind of like sounding a little bit pessimistic but i have been doing a lot of recordings and i have been trying out a lot of these different games and most of these games don't really they kind of they fail to a certain ex extent if they don't really have an, a meaningful and interesting engaging um gameplay so yeah definitely going to uh see how the arena system is going to work and the battle power ranking beginning of august open beta fuse market lucky draw okay so that also sounds what's fuse i don't know what fuse is going to be official launch mid august one adventure and coliseum what's the difference between coliseum and arena so there's going to be an advantage adventure mode which is quite interesting in my opinion maybe they're going to add some lore some story as well making it more interesting for the game to be played but yeah other than that I can't really tell you much more about Etherleak so far it's just a one pager with some information and a pre-sale stage oh actually here look at that there's some information about the different gameplay features Etherleak overview summon besides okay there's also heroes can be obtained by summon oh so not the Genesis heroes but the ones you can purchase for a lower amount of Ethereum they will be able to be summoned okay Players can summon heroes with different tribes and class by chance. Heroes have five different quality, including common, uncommon, rare. So that's quite common for most of these games, from lowest to highest. Also, players who have Crypto Kitties will be able. Oh, look at that! There's going to be some Crypto Kitty in integration. Now that's interesting. Always like like these these um, corporations between different games because obviously they're kind of tapping into one of the main advantages of cryptocurrency or blockchain integrations that you can kind of use the in-game assets of one game and um, use that also in one of the other games that's definitely something that i'm really looking forward to being executed well enough um, bp jackpot arena players can fight against other players in the arena bp is not the only factor of victory BP, I think, is battle power. Each side can send five years into battle. Okay, players should adjust their team combination according to the tribe and class of people on this team. Players can earn experience. Okay, but again, it just sounds like you s you send your five heroes, you choose a different hero setup and the way they uh, interact with each other and you fight against someone else who also uh, chooses five heroes into battle, but then you just let it run. So it won't even be turn-based where you can interact with the game and, and, and change your strategy or just the, the kind of kind of um, I don't know spell or attack you want to choose in in the fight or in the battle you always have to wait until the battle is over so yeah I have tried that before for some of the games um, I don't remember the one of the games I'm sorry I really have a bad memory when it comes to some of the videos I've been doing for like three to four months or three to four months ago but there have been a few games where they have been providing some kind of automatic mode battle system and you just sit there and watch the whole battle unfold and to be honest it's not really interesting yes sure it looks nice the first two times but then it, it gets boring really really quickly because you don't have any kind of way to interact in, du during the battle itself so a fuse use three heroes of same tribe same class so that's kind of our oh, fuse is like like a like a cloning mechanic that we also know from some of the other crypto collectible battle games. The fuse here will be at the level of the highest hero out of the three, okay? So you take two heroes, put them together, you get a third one, or actually three in this case, and you get a higher quality hero. So you may, might even going to lose the, the 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 other three or one of them. The fuse here will be at the level of the highest hero out of the three, okay? Market obviously is going to be there's going to be a marketplace you you need the option to trade otherwise there won't be a point to actually purchase them in the first place adventure mode there are two maps in adventure the ethermat and experience map or xp map i guess that stands for experience players can send max of five heroes to explore in the ether map to earn ethereum rewards by chance okay well that's at least a decent idea to have players get some ethereum back colosseum 
players can set up their own contests at a certain amount of Ethereum to let others to challenge. Okay, players can use any five. Also, you can actually organize a battle between two others and you bet on them, I guess, and you make a decent amount of Ethereum back. It's unique. I haven't I haven't heard about this kind of gameplay feature before. I like it. Well, anyway. Uh, if you're interested in EtherLeak, check it out. I'm going to post the link to the website in the video description. I'm also going to post the link to their... What do they have? They have a Discord channel. They have a Telegram channel. I'm going to post both of those in the video description as well. So you can talk to the developers. You can talk to the community. Get a decent understanding and feeling for the game. If you're interested in the game, invest your Ethereum into it. But as I always say, please don't take this video as financial advice but also only invest as much Ethereum as you can afford to lose and always make sure to do your own research first before you invest any kind of Ethereum in any of these different crypto and blockchain games, please. So yeah, if you're interested in this game, please leave a comment below as well. I'm really interested in your opinion as I always am. Maybe someone from my community has some more information on the game that he would like or he, she would like to share in the comments. I'm always interest, uh, interested in that. Other than that, hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.